Hi Pisces, this is your horoscope for 2019. Thank you for joining me, it's a pleasure to be with you today. Now, 2019 starts with eclipse season. On the 6th of January, we have a solar eclipse in Capricorn, and that happens in your 11th house of hopes and dreams being realized, friendships, uh, bridges that you want to build, and the thing about eclipses is that the effects last for six months. So you have got Mercury, Saturn, the Midheaven, the Sun, the Moon, and Pluto all sitting in Capricorn in your 11th house. So for the next six months, you're able to transform your physical life, your circumstances, so that you realize your hopes and dreams. So you can move into the apartment that you've always wanted to. Work-wise, something is going to pick up. You're going to have good luck in 2019. So that a lot of Pisces are going to be able to improve in their work and then move to a place that really matches their dreams and their desires. So I'm so happy for you guys. A lot of you are really going to be self-actualizing here. Now, we have a, another eclipse, a total lunar eclipse, and a supermoon in Leo. A supermoon is a moon that's a full moon, but it's about 5 to 15% bigger than a regular full moon, so it affects us much more. It's in Leo, and it happens at 5 degrees in your 6th house of work. So what you feel super, super comfortable with is taking the initiative at work, sorting out your daily routine, sorting out your health, but really putting yourself in a position of leadership, promotion, reliability, seniority. You really find it easy and enjoyable and fun to work. And because other people see that in you, and remember, this is also interrupted by an eclipse, so this desire to work and this happiness at work lasts for six months. And that's why your hopes and dreams come true because smile and the world smiles with you, cry and you cry alone. And you're smiling for the first six months of 2019, working super, super hard and doing really well. And that's why other people promote you and they support you and help you. Now, I'm looking at the major things that are happening because this is a yearly forecast. So, there is a, another supermoon in Virgo on the 19th of February. And supermoons really have a big power over us because we are made of water. And supermoons are much closer than they regular, regularly are, the full moons. And it, it just... It just influences us much more and it just gives us a much more powerful opportunity. Like in your case, when the on the 21st of February, no, on the 19th of February, the supermoon is in Virgo in your seventh house of romantic relationships. So you're able to download information about romantic relationships. You're going to be able to discern between what is a good relationship and what is not a good relationship. You're also comfortable putting yourself in the spotlight. So, okay. So work-wise, you're comfortable putting yourself in the spotlight and really being seen by others. And in terms of relationships, you listen more rather than in judge. So you're doing all the perfect things here at the beginning of the year, not to uh, make waves in a negative way, but you, you, you make waves in a positive way. So if you're an employee, wonderful, because people are going to notice and your hopes and dreams are going to be realized. If you work for yourself, you're also in a good position. Jupiter, the lucky planet, is in your 10th house of career. So, if you're self-employed, there will be growth and growth and growth. So, money-wise, Pisces, 2019 is not going to be a problem for you, especially if you take the initiative. And if, especially, even if you are employed, especially if you do something on the side. 
So the supermoon embargo is going to give you an insight into your work. But it's also going to give you an understanding of other people, relationships, and you're going to become much more sympathetic to other people. On the 6th of March, Uranus, the planet of rebellion and eccentricity, goes direct and it goes into Taurus in your third house. Now, you may ask, isn't Uranus in Taurus right now? It is. It's in Taurus right now, but it goes retrograde at the end of 2018 and it goes back into Aries. It goes direct on the 6th of March and it goes back into Taurus where it continues then to bring technological and financial changes. Okay, It's weird that Brexit is also happening in March. Very interesting. So it's in your third house of communication. Mars, the male principle, is at 13 degrees in Taurus in your third house as well during this time. So there's a huge desire to communicate and to speak your truth. You've also got loads of things in your first house. You've got the midheaven, the moon, the sun, Neptune and Mercury in Pisces in your first. So you feel like yourself and you feel good luck at work. So if you're a Pisces who's ever considered making themselves independent work-wise, this is your month. But if you do work for other people, you're also going to benefit. So whichever way you swing it, this year Pisces are going to do well at work and they're going to, a lot of you guys are going to re realize your hopes and dreams. And it's going to be a really positive year. Now, on the 20th of March, we have another super moon, which means the moon is much bigger. And that's in Libra in your 8th. So, the Pisces who work in companies for other people, you're going to have the best day today. Because an opportunity will be given to you to take on more responsibility, to get a promotion, to get more money. And to have more freedom of work. Okay, so if you're an employed Pisces, you really benefit here on the 21st of March, the 20th, 21st of March. Looking at April, you feel you finally found what you're looking for in terms of what you're doing. And you feel like your guides and your angels are applauding. They're saying... Finally, Pisces, you've listened to us. You're doing what we want you to do. Well done. Continue. May is also all about that. It's about communicating. It's about uh, making your business solid and working at it and pouring your love into it and healing your past experiences doing things independently. Maybe you've had a business before and it failed. That doesn't mean that this business is going to fail. Okay? So just draw a uh, line under the past and continue and keep moving forward. In June, we have got Jupiter squaring Neptune. Jupiter is the lucky planet. It's in your 10th house of career and it squares Neptune, the planet of dreams and intuition, your ruler, and it's in Pisces. So you feeling comfortable in your own skin and really having these wonderful ideas, that squaring Jupiter in your 10th house at 18 degrees, which is 9, which is spirituality, if you think it, if you believe it, if you dream it within yourself, it's really likely to come true in your working life. And this square happens a couple of times this year, so that's so exciting. It happens in January and June, in September and December, Jupiter and Uranus, no, Jupiter and Neptune square each other four times this year. And it's like manifesting your ideal job. So for any Pisces who's unhappy in their work, this is your year to really find work that's an extension of who you are and that you're proud of doing and that you're happy with. So you have four months where you're just being supported endlessly in finding that. Now in July we've got our second series of solar eclipses. So the first one is a total solar eclipse in Cancer and that happens on the 2nd of July. It's also a new moon 
in Cancer and it pulls that energy into your fifth house. So this total eclipse in Cancer pulls lots of loving, nurturing energy into your fifth house of romance and because it's interrupted as an eclipse, you're going to really want to be in a relationship and nurture someone else for the next six months. So again, it's all about love and relationship for you. Let's look at the partial lunar eclipse, which happens on the 16th. Your moon is next to your Saturn and your Pluto in Capricorn in your 11th house. So the question is, do I focus on my relationships and love or do I focus on work? And for you, Pisces, I really feel that the two are meshed. And the more you connect with other people and nurture and take care of them, the more opportunities you're going to get work-wise. So if there's a choice of working by yourself in the office or going to an event or a party or working with other people, always choose the other people because that's going to work much better for you. So these effects last for the next six months as well. So you're going to work want to work with other people and you're really interested in love and romance so you're a people person you're gonna we're gonna see a lot of Pisces around doing a lot of work uh, in 2019 now in August you're very fired up about work and something great happens in your working life that really puts you in the spotlight and brings you great success it heals your financial worries and I really think that you see a huge boost to your business uh, around August. In September we've got the Jupiter Neptune square happening again. Neptune is still in your first house. Jupiter is in the 10th. So again listen to your hopes and dreams. Don't dismiss them and let them be manifest creatively in your working life and Try different things, take risks this year when it comes to your work. They'll pay off and you'll really benefit. So don't be scared to take some financial risks. October is all about working with other people, creating growth in your business and really making sure your hopes and dreams are realized. And there's this thing going on. You've got Chiron sitting in your second house of money in Aries and this thing comes up for you Pisces about past disappointments in work and if you focus on those uh, I failed in the past so I'm gonna fail again then that's a problem but if you look at this from a completely fresh angle and say I'm gonna do this like totally new then you have a 99.9% .9 chance of success here so October is great, focus on the business. In November, on the 11th, Mercury transits across the sun and it transits in front of the sun so we can see it. And the next time that's gonna happen is in 2039. Mercury is on top of your transiting midheaven, your sun. And they're all sitting in the ninth house. So it's saying to you, Pisces, look at the world, look at what's out there look at all the freedom you've got look at the choice you have ask the universe what you're supposed to be doing so i really feel that any pisces who is unclear about what they're supposed to be doing in their working life is really going to get a lot of answers this month and that's going to be very positive and you can manifest money um and in terms of your rom ro romantic side of things here on the 16th of November, that's also really important to you, as well as the 11th, because you've got the North Node sitting there. Yeah, so love and romance it, until the end of the year is going to be a priority, from July until the end of the year. So we've got that Mercury going over the Sun in November, and in December 2019, Again, we have the Jupiter-Neptune square. Jupiter is now in your 11th and Neptune is in your first. So this isn't just about now manifesting things in Korea. This is about communicating your hopes and dreams in all areas of life. And with Neptune in your first and your 
rising sign sitting right on top of it at 17 degrees, one, degrees, one degree away from it, you can really manifest what it is you want in life. Love, great health, career success, peace of mind, happiness, whatever it is you want to create. So that's what I get for you in 2009, Pisces. I hope that gives you an idea of what you'll be working with. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my personal readings, I use astrology, tarot, and numerology. The astrology chart I draw up by using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, you can use sunrise or I can rectify the chart for you. It's a process of working out the time, so get in touch with me if you'd like me to do that. Um, once I have the chart drawn up, it shows me your life purpose, where you've been in past lifetimes, what your vocational aptitudes are, what's destined for you in love and health and romance and moving and spiritual progress and money. I can answer any questions and also if you have questions about compatibility, I can look at those. So if you are interested, please order a reading with me on the website gregoryscott.com. Check out some of my other videos. I do daily tarot readings. I do weekly horoscopes for all signs of the zodiac. I do monthly horoscopes for each sign of the zodiac, for the sun sign and then for the rising sign. And I also do these yearlies for the sun sign and your rising sign. So have a look at some of those videos. If you like them, please subscribe to the channel and please share the video. I'd be ever so grateful. Have a wonderful 2019. I hope the love that comes in is just so... Let me know how things go. I hope you have a wonderful year and I'll speak to you soon.